Pastor Schmidt, what would you say to the person watching this who is scared, and I would say in many ways justifiably so, about the uncertainty of what lies ahead with all of this in our lives, in our nation, and in maybe their careers, whatever it might be? The Bible speaks uh, so exhaustively to this kind of event and to our fears and uncertainty. What I would say uh, predominantly, just kind of as an over arching truth is that God is on uh, our sanctification, our growth in grace is all about holding more loosely to temporary things and more uh, tightly to eternal things mm -hmm. because that's who we really are. Okay. We are temporary beings living on a temporary planet. Um, and yet what we tend to do is tie everything, our hearts, our identities, our val uh, like we find our value and significance and purpose and our sense of our sense of being is is so deeply embedded to the material physical natural world this this short brief life and um and so i guess my where i'm going with this is that our uncertainty is like a warning light on the dashboard of a car that says to us this is where your faith is weak this is where your, uh, this is where your spirit is embedded too deeply in this world. It, I mean, uh, everywhere I'm afraid right now is that's exactly where I'm not trusting God. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why a moment like this is so powerful and profoundly spiritual. It's transform, it's transformational if we let it be, because what we learn is that we what we thought we were standing on isn't really reliable because it's giving way but but just under that is a solid rock called Jesus and when our feet land on that it we we it's jolting at first we're like oh okay we're good we're okay and all i can say is and just to just to end this quickly is that Christ, followers of god in scripture were were resilient uh, but they learned to be resilient because they faced trauma. And and in the trauma, they survived, they came through it. Like imagine how, how afraid Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were right before they got thrown into that flaming furnace. You know, afraid, humanly speaking. I realized they weren't spiritually, they, they, they were confident in their decision. But I mean, you can't, you can't pretend they weren't experiencing some physical responses, right? You know, adrenaline rush and hearts pounding and what's about to happen. And then they get into the flames and good night. I mean, the only thing that burned was their bindings. <laughs> Suddenly they're free and they're walking with Jesus. I mean, you know, I mean, the minute they got out of that furnace, they were no longer afraid of fiery furnaces, <laughs> you know? And this is just God teaching us how we don't really have to be afraid of pandemics.